Wow, that actually looks really good. For like, uh, whatever, like the, the art for this game is really nice from what I can see. Like the ground textures could use a little bit of work. But that statue is like legit. Hey everyone, what about here and welcome to Flame Break. Let's see if it's any good. Reddit.com slash r slash Flame Break. Okay, so we can do daily, daily hard. Uh, and we can be three different characters. Minotaur, human, or dwarf. I love dwarves, so I'm going to be a dwarf. The warring lords have warped the land. And forced its beats. I'm just gonna skip past the plot for the time being. I want to see if this game's any good. Okay, so we've got X, A, B. Awesome. It works. So twin stick shootery might be easier if I use. Might be easier if I just use. My uh, might just be easier if I use keyboard and mouse, just because aiming. I don't know. Okay, left shift, there we go. X, pause, reorder skills, got it. Anything else? No, we leave. Beautiful, let's see if this is good. Has no one played this before? It feels like, it feels like it, yeah. All right, what is this? Boss of my adversary, oh, I see. Oh, so that's what they mean by uh, cross with like Dota. So you pick like a direction to go. Well, let's take this way, it seems like it's the longest. I don't know. I gotcha. So, what you do is, like, pick a different position here. Kind of, you know, League of, Le League of Legends Dota style, and you're effectively heading for the end. That's it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's see. Hazard. Looks particularly dangerous. Clear hazards for overworld items. Okay, shrapnel mines. I see where the shrapnel mines are. Oh, I'm stuck back here. No, I'm not. Oh, I sort of am. There are multiple of these... Trapped on mines all over the place. I did not notice them all. Oh, they spawn in. That's why I didn't notice them all. Okay. And we get... Dust of Appearance reveals something or other. Okay! And it looks like I can actually go as far as I want. Now, what's this? Spyglass reveals target area of the homeworld map. Healing potion. Okay. So what do you use gold on? Favor the gods. Nope, nothing. Alright. Well, let's keep checking. See, is there jungle? It doesn't look like there's jungle. Okay. I do like... I, I like the ability system in this game a fair amount. Um, the controls are a little bit weird. Let's stun her into submission. Drop some bombs. Come on, die so I can kill your minions. Oh, I see. They were just like ghosty things. Okay, yeah, Dust of Appearance, that's straight from Dota. This game does definitely have, like, a really, really heavy Dota, uh, feel. So I'm just gonna beeline for the boss now. I don't know if there's a better way of doing it beyond that. Okay. It's kind of an awkward bullet hell, because I'm slow. But, like, I like how the, I like how the abilities work. The gameplay ain't bad. The characters are definitely, uh... Nice looking. The animation's a little bit awkward. Oh god, the camera angle's weird. Uh, you know, the sort of isometric, sort of top-down, I feel like doesn't work as well as you'd think it would, but maybe that's just me. Uh, I think I'd prefer this in a different way. Okay, fully restore health, dust of appearance, warp stone. Okay. As far as I can tell, that did noth nothing really useful there. Alright. Shouldn't have picked the dwarf if you don't like slowness, I guess. Fair enough. Okay. I'm just gonna get over here amongst these dwarf launcher guys. It looks like the... Yep, that was effective. It looks like the Minotaur might have killed itself? I wasn't really watching for its uh, demise, but it was effective. Oh shit, that one guy's still alive. Hiding back in the corner. Got him. Alright, what do we get? Spyglass. Kind of useless, but still. Uh, so let's use the healing potion. And that's the extent of it. It's not like I can go back or, for shopping or anything like that. Alright, and we're up against Rakdor, who is very big. Well, I'm gonna leave. I like, I like my, like, dodgy bit. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So apparently I can't, um, apparently I can't stun him. That makes sense. 
So I gotta s save my space ability for things. Shit's on fire, yo. Alright, uh, let's just stay away from those. Drop my bombs. Oh, bombs protected me, but that was the extent of it. Okay, this works pretty well. Ow. Haha! -ha. Stay away from the fire, stay away from the flames, leave the bombs for him, and there we go. Okay, so what do we get? 100 gold. Also, ten, plus 10 spirit. So this must be like a passive progression si system. Yeah, that was actually a pretty cool boss. Okay, town sells healing, map items, and stat boosters. Activate dust before entering shops. Okay, dust of appearance. Okay, so it's been dusted. We have additional item choices. Now, what I could try and do is... Let's go here first and see if that dusting effect work, uh, lasts. Honestly, this game reminds me very distinctly of uh, Forced, the Rush. In a very good way. Uh, similar ability system. Oh, ow. Similar ability system. You know, similar quality. I think Forced had maybe a little bit more enemy variety going for it, which was appreciated. Oh, I see. They died and came back as skeletons. Well, that's kind of amusing. I don't know. This is cool. I like it. It's, I mean, it's definitely slower than I expected, but it's not, oh, they revive each other as skeletons. That's how it works. But like the ability is cool. It'd be really nice if I could uh, unlock more abilities along the way. Okay, now we go to the store. Okay, so we can buy healing potion. Absolutely worthwhile. Uh, let's see, what is this? Wizard cape, cooldown reduction, movement speed. Or attack speed, attack damage. Actually, I have enough money to get all of them. Okay, cheese. Fully restores health. For that price, hell yeah. Alright, I think we're done. Uh, how do we leave? Ah, out this direction. Zelda-wise. I like it. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's go this way. I, oh, yeah, that movement speed difference makes so much of one. I'm just gonna let my bomber men go in. Looks like we're gonna have a bunch of skeletons on our on our butts fairly soon. But that's okay. I like the fact that I have a I, I like the fact that I have an escape ability. I think that's pretty damn slick. Okay. Oh, bear trap. Didn't even notice it. One of these guys must be putting it down. It's interesting that the skeleton enemies do they have their own ability set? I can't tell. Or do they mimic... Yeah, they mimic the ability set that they had when they were alive. That's okay. Got it. I like this. This is cool. Oh, uh, let's see. What's this? Blacksmith. Armor and set pieces are sold here. I activate dust before going in to reveal addis additional item choices. Well, in that case, we're going to loop around. I want to make a little bit more money before we do. It also looks like you can't... You can't, um... You can't, uh, back up here. Come on, take them out before they get... Before we get sniped. There we go. Yeah, 20 gold per. Uh, let's go this way around. I wonder if you can get stuck. Loot hook. Oh, I see. Oops. Fuck. There we go. Well, this is clever. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a great way to get money. Six out of seven cotton, we get 21 gold. Neat. Mini boss, powerful foe resides here. Well, let's stop by the, let's stop by this. And I might actually be able to buy everything, almost. So I can, I can buy armor. Frost Walker's chest, oh. It's like, uh, in a group. Uh, like, set group. Okay, that's cool. So what do you want? Health? So once per second, your next attacker, physical skill, critical strikes. 
Well, I like the Desolator's helmet. Now here's a question. Can you have multiple helmets on? Well, we might as well get this. And it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can get multiple sets here. Oh, hey, bizarre. Well, let's... Oh, fighting the shadow grants no rewards. The shadow advances north each day. Well, let's head for the mini-boss before things become a problem. Musketeers. Oh. I'm just gonna tricksy him a bunch with my own abilities. Now, does he gets hit by his own his own technique? That's great. Okay, uh, this is really clever. I like this. I like the abilities. I like all the techniques used. I think I think it's actually a really solid product. I wonder if I took damage from that. I don't know. Town. Hey. All right. What's the town selling? Gnarled staff. Extra health. Shield. Oh, airfall shield. Active. Wave of energy pulses out. We're destroying nearby projectiles. That's tempting. Or Eye of the Sifter. Extra purchase options at every shop. That's super tempting. So do we want health and skill mastery? I don't actually know what skill mastery necessarily does. Skill mastery. Here we go. Multiplies the effectiveness of your skills. Damage skills fully with skill mastery. If your fireball skill does 200 damage, you buy an item. It increases your skill mastery from 100 to 150. Your fireball will now do 300 damage. Uh, wow. This is really nice, actually. I like this. Um, so the skill master here would be pretty good. Aerofall shield's tempting, and Eye of the Shifter is nice. But I think I'm going to go with the Gnarled Staff. And we'll buy the cheese, just because. It's easier to use the cheese and save the healing potion. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these guys. But yeah, the, the skill master is awesome. Because that means the more I can... The more I can just mash into my bombs, the better. I like the fact that my bombs count as a, uh, count as a shield. That's always kind of a neat thing. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, this really does play like Dota. In fact, I would actually play this as, like, a top-down regular Dota. This is pretty fun. Um, it would be really nice if your abilities, uh, flawless times one. Hey! Uh, it would be really nice if you uh, if you could switch your abilities out, you know, like, customize your character and stuff. I think this is the only way to go through here. Well, that's okay. Yeah, it's almost like gameplay from Force 2, with what seems to be an RPG system tacked on. And for like eight, uh... Like ten-ish dollars? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, I can stun this guy! Suck it! More or less almost semi-identical clone of me. Oh, that was his ability. Yeah! I, lo I love the shields. Oh, hello. Looks like he's only got one, though. Ow. I did not escape that one properly, but that's okay. Ow. I'm trying to dodge all the little musketeer bullets. And it's not working as well as I thought. Is that a shield? That is something. But that's okay. And as long as... Yeah, I got him! All right. Wait for the Musketeers to stop firing, and 100 gold. And Northern Passage clear, 15 spirit. I don't know what spirit does, I assume it, like... Spirits fall and fade, and in the black of night, a single power splits the shade in silver streams of light. It turns upon a flaming tide of embers, burning gold. To watch you brave the pass with pride, and walk the steps of old. And so the phoenix looks below, on wings of crimson red, Arid wind begins to blow. The desert waits ahead. Like, holy shit, this is actually a good roguelike. I can't believe it. Okay. So what I want to do is... God, I hope these two connect. Let's see Let's see if we can go this way. Alright, fire trap. Like, the enemy variety is pretty damn solid. Oh, that's, that's some fire. Probably shouldn't have been there. Uh, that's okay, too. I regret this decision immensely. Okay. Uh, is ca our cacti problems? 
I don't know. I am taking a ton of damage here. Is that a hobbit? That's totally a hobbit. It even has a goddamn uh, boomerang. Of course it's a hobbit. And possibly heals them. I'm glad all the terrain effects affect the enemies just like me. I hate it in games when they don't. Did that... Oh, hey, we get a warp stone. Nice! I did say it was a particularly dangerous area. Hello. Temple of Fuhrer, God of Rage. I should have totally stopped at the thing. Okay. Clear this area while preserving the temple to earn the favor of Fuhrer, or destroy the temple to please his rival gods. The god that favors you most gets a powerful blessing upon accumulating ten or more favor. Well! Time to get some favor! Alright, so lightning strikes, eh? Well, that's cool. It is a shame a lot of the bosses and mini-bosses and stuff in this game have been uh, just scaled up versions of each other. It does kind of make things feel a little bit... Okay, we don't want to destroy the shrine. It does make things feel a little bit... Ow. It does make things feel a little bit uh, less interesting, but maybe that's just me. Okay. Got him. All right. You might prove useful. Awesome. So let's use Dust of Appearance. I've got a ton of cash. Let's head for the... Let's head for the shop. Oh, you can actually go back through areas you've been through. That's cool. Um, let's see. Can you upgrade your existing skills? I don't think so. Okay, movement speed 10 is really tempting. Actually, both of these. Probably. Yeah, I can get all of them. Because I've already got a healing potion. Because uh, I never used it earlier. So we get boots and we get gloves. Alright, so I'm faster and I should shoot faster too. Beautiful. So we've got... Temple, Temple of... Pro Proctus. God of Protection. And a mini boss. Well, let's go for Proctus first. Okay. Enemies take less damage. Okay. Oh, wait, no, those are not those are not phantoms. Okay. This is perfect. Got him! Alright, so practice is not happy with me, but that's okay. Not happy at all. But again, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, interesting. There's actually, like, a limitation on how far space goes. Weird. Oh, let's get out of there. I love the, uh, I love the enemy design in this game. Like, the art for them is really, really gorgeous. The rendering, uh, is solid. Alright, so we got Fire Trap and a mini boss. Like, and, you know, I was kind of complaining about how, um, oh! Boss is not affected by area traps here. It looks like, no, he might be affected by the fire. It's hard to tell. But, um, I, I was complaining about how, you know, regular enemies get scaled up to be mini bosses. I would like to see, I would like to see more unique enemies as many bosses and stuff just because it gets kind of boring um if you know they're always just the it does get really boring if they're always just the same enemy types uh but at the same time the art is so good i actually like seeing them as mini bosses because i can actually tell what they look like like, I can actually see, like, the the entire visual design put into it all. Uh, which is really solid. I also really, really love the ability design in, in this game. Burn, babies, burn. There goes my bombs. Whatever, I wasn't expecting to get them out of there anyway. But, like, my space ability being a damage and a teleport is so good. I wish there were, um, I wish there were more things that actually, like, affected how my weapons work. Like, I would love, I would love the ability to, um, have, like, a strike through or something like that. Or, like, even more scatter shot or double shot or something like that. Treasure defense. Oh. You get the fuck out of here. You get away from my gold. My gold. My gold. Interesting, I can stun them. No, my gold. My gold. My gold. 
My gold. My gold. My gold. My gold. My gold. Damn. Perfect defense. Yes. I don't know how much gold I got from that. Either way, my gold. All right, so what do we get? We get wizard robes, attack speed, and cooldown reduction. Or skill mastery, kill, uh, cooldown reduction. Do I need the cheese? Oh, I'll probably grab the cheese anyway. It's cheap. <laughs> Reminds me of those horrible, horrible mini games and runers. Yeah, if... But it's it's better. Like, all the mini games in this actually feel good. Like, good and functional. It's amazing. So we could do skill mastery, which is an extra 20% damage on all of my skills. Tempting. How do you level these things up? I have no idea. It looks like you can level them up somehow, but I don't know how you do it. Uh, what's this? Favor the gods. Oh, I see. Rank 1 at favor 10. I gotcha. Attack speed, attack damage, cooldown reduction, movement speed. Um, attack speed and cooldown reduction I think is going to be better for me in the long run. Like, I'm, I'm actually having fun here. I'm having a lot of fun here. Alright, God of the Undead. Hey, Necris. Okay. So my goal here... ...is to piss this one off, too. Because that will give us the uh, God of Fury, I believe. There we go. Alright. We should be in a great position. I don't know what the protection from the God of Fury does. Oh, shit. Did he, like, grab his ally's armor? Is that what happened there? I don't know. Flawless. Favor gained. Fuhrer's blessing. Oh, boy. F yeah, Fuhrer. Uh, strikes your enemies with lightning when you deal damage. Activation threshold, 500. Strike damage, 70. Current favor, 10. Next rank, 20. All right. Well, either way. Uh, let's start beelining for the god, uh, for the boss. So yeah, I've just every every couple of attack a uh, couple of, every couple of attacks, I get a uh, lightning strike on everybody. That's awesome. These elves all have ranged attacks, and it's annoying. I'd like to take out the hobbits because I think they do healing. I'm not entirely sold on this concept, but it works. God, I love my like teleport shot thing. It's so good. This is, this is like, actually really good game design. Like, I've been looking for a good, uh, roguelike for a very, very long time. This is it. Like, this is the next one. Shame I didn't hear about this back in October, because I'd love to play this. Can your bomb units proc the lightning? Yes, they can! All of my moves can proc the lightning, in fact. Like, all of my abilities. Now, I would love something like a dodge roll here, but obviously... Uh dodge rolls would be too easy. I mean, I more or less have one. It's the teleport shot. I love those bombs. I love all of this. This is so good. This, this feels really good. Because I can... You can cheese him so hard, too. It's great. Because he just... He blows himself up. It's awesome. In conjunction with everything else. Okay, he finally hit me. Just drop the bombs on his face. Oh man, it feels so good. Okay, stay away from the little bomb skeletons. And... Got him. Yep. Just thought of Path of Exile skill system. Yeah. Oops. I guess he still had things to say. Alright, so we've got God of Speed next. Alternatively... Actually, you know what? No. I actually would like to curry favor for the God of Speed here. That actually seems like it would be pretty helpful. These guys are also getting tougher. I assume spear- oh, bear trap. Damn it. It's that goblin there. 
I figured it was something like that. There we go. Drop bombs on you. Because, yeah, getting God of Speed would actually be really useful as well. If I can get that. Okay. Uh, let's head this direction. Need them speed drugs. Yeah. Like, I like the lightning. It's kind of neat. But I'd much rather have a passive upgrade that actually... Um, I'd rather actually have a passive upgrade here. That uh, that increases my like movement speed and whatnot. Oh, uh, I hope those... I hope those bear traps disappear after a while. That they do. Good business. Very good business. Like, if this was actually, like, a legit MOBA, I would play it. I really like how the abilities work together. They feel really solid. Okay, God of Healing. Hmm, tempting. Uh, let's stop by the shop first. Alright, so what do we got? Fair amount of money. Might actually be able to buy these things. Oh, Proctus's Favor, plus five, if I get the Proctus Necklace. Huh. Alright. Well, let's grab the cheese. We'll grab the dagger. We'll grab the Proctus Amulet. Yeah, it looks like you can just keep stacking these things forever. I'm cool with that. Yeah, when was this game released? Yeah, October. And I had no idea. I'm actually kind of beating my... Ha! 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 Okay! Okay, I'm glad these guys don't take any damage from this. I actually can't tell if they don't take damage from this or not. Either way, barely took any from that. That felt really good. Yeah, Risk of Rain items, uh, like, item stack style. Yeah, feels good. I like it. Um, do we fa care about Halloran? Probably not. The one problem with abilities like this, uh... Areas like this. I probably should. Oop. I did not realize that bench had uh, direct pathing like it does. Uh, that's okay. But, uh, problem with areas like this is usually the temples tend to be a little bit more. Um, the temples tend to be a little bit more. Uh, cluttered, which I don't appreciate as much. Alright. We pissed off Halloran. How many gods are there? Apparently lots. That is such a wide range stun too. Oh. Feels really good. Drop him. Okay. Yeah, because I think the halflings can heal. I love my little bomb things. They're so good. Oh, why would I diss the god of healing? Ooh, jewelry. Uh, jewelry set pieces are sold here. Let's go for the mini boss first. Restless Dead and mini boss. Oh, interesting. You can see the the cooldown on that ability. I'm okay with that. Ow. I'm just gonna bomb her a bunch. Because I've got a stun. Oh, having that stun is such a handy bit. Okay. I'll just keep wailing on her in this corner. Actually, let's not, because it's a bad place to be. Blow her up a little. Okay, she's done. Restless Dead, not so much, though. They'll go quick, though. I do like the lightning proc, though. That always feels pretty good. But still. Um, hey, Proctus. Well, I guess I could curry favor with Proctus and see how that goes. Because currently he's only at negative one. No, he wouldn't work. Yeah, so that just increased the damage. I don't feel like that. What gods are called if you go over. So it looks like there are five gods total. Well, let's head for the jeweler. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so we can get Grandmaster's Amulet, Echo Spark. Wait. I got some of these. Desolators, Frostwalkers. Oh, no. Okay, and Venomancers. Attack damage, skill mastery, skill master mastery. Yeah, so we had the chance of getting Echo Spark earlier, but we didn't. Because we didn't have, uh... 
space. So we just have Frostwalker and Desolator. I love the set setup, too. It's really cool. Okay, so what do we want to do? Ooh, Grandmaster's Amulet is pretty boss. Yeah, going Grandmaster. Uh, if you complete it, it multiplies your, um, your spell damage by a bunch. Up, oh, treasure defense. If they all stay on this side, we're good to go. Because all I have to do is just hit them once or twice. And I've got a bunch of abilities here for this. Ton of AoEs, too. Perfect defense. Give me that money. Was that only... That was only 25. Well, let's go to Proctus. I might as well curry favor with all of them. Because who knows what Proctus is like. In retrospect, I was just going for it so I could get the Furious one. Okay, we do have a healing potion if we need it. Though I'd prefer to save it for dire needs. But after a certain point, we might hit dire needs. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to take out the teleporty wizard ladies. Oh, wow, that teleport inability actually does damage, too. That's cool. I like that. Leave bombs for you guys, and everything's good. Yeah, I, I would actually like the ability to customize my moveset. Uh, Path of Exile style or something. Just because... Oh, shit. Those guys eat the corpses of their allies for, like, a heal. Well, that's dirty. Makes him super tough. Kneel before your master. Alright. And still flawless. Alright. Um. I probably have enough time to go here and then the shop. Yeah, let's do that. Just so we have enough money. And if not, well, we'll have that money for later. Yeah, one of the things I like so much about this character, uh, and obviously, like, we haven't got the chance to see anybody else, but, uh, that teleport ignores. Uh, that teleport ignores terrain, so it's very easy to get over, like, all the logs and whatnot, which feels really good. It'd be kind of neat if there's, like, a leap, uh, character with a leap strike. Uh, you guys are jerks. Then again, you're my peeps. I get you. I understand you're the way you are because you are the way you are, but you're still jerks and I don't like you. Okay, let's go for that shop. What can we buy? So we can buy an oak wand, a father, a uh, feather of sepulchres. Let's see, wind sweep your enemies in target direction. No. Uh, how much money do I have? Just enough for this and the Oak Wand. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. Okay. You get two for them if you drop certain idols. Interesting. Oh, if you, if you destroy certain idols. Yep. Okay, so this is just a straight up bullet hell type boss fight. Well, that actually makes this pretty easy. Because she doesn't seem to have any special attacks, so I'm just going to utilize everything in my arsenal to just wail on her. Oh, my poor bomb. Look at him go. I love my bombs. They're the best buds. Oh, nope, she has more, she has more than that. Oh, man. I love how it tells you about cooldowns in this. That's a really good thing. So if I am trying to use something that's currently on cooldown, it'll actually pop up next to my character... That's on cooldown for X number more seconds. Feels good. Feels real good. Like, hot damn. That is real. This is really well made. Ow. I don't know if I would say this and Binding of Isaac had... Uh, Binding of Isaac and a MOBA had a baby. I would actually say this is much closer to... um. I honestly don't know. I don't have a good example of a roguelike like this. I guess a... Uh, I, I've played roguelikes with similar, similar itemization systems, but they're kind of rare for obvious reasons. Okay. I'm 
I know she keeps summoning these little guys, but I'm trying to uh, specifically hammer her as much as I can. Ah, come on. There's a there's definitely a roguelike I've played that had similar itemization systems. Oh no, I mean hand hand of fate kind of had this, but not to this extent, not to this like amount of stack you can do. Yeah, we could have had three months of content for this if people had noticed before. Yeah. All right, so we get that, which does what? Skill unlocked, spirit walk. Grants unobstructed movement, increases movement speed, and damages enemies on contact. I have no idea how to get that. Alright, uh, we are still going. So let's let's gather as much money as we can. The one issue I'm noticing so far is enemy variety. Oh god. Wait, that worked! Ha! Ah! Uh, you know, it's the same enemy sprites over and over and over again, which is a bit bad, but I think that's just because, you know, making unique enemy types is hard. These lasers are getting really annoying. Luckily, these guys aren't particularly dangerous, but fighting more enemies like that is not promising. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I should have gone to the shop first. We're gonna end up wasting a round here. Oh well. Interesting enemy type. Oh, did I get like a debuff there? I think I did. Well, that's kind of neat. But yeah, this is, like, really solid quality. Really solid texturing. Really solid, like, everything. I don't know. I, I'm I'm quite sad that I did not hear about this game until, you know, today. I might end up, like, uh... Yeah! That's perfect! He charges me straight through my bombs! Oh, really? He can charge over those things. Good to know. That's a problem. Uh, well, let's go here anyway, just in case it has a set item that I can go for. Uh, attack damage. So we could get the Severed Hand of the Lich, resets the cooldown on your last activated skill, or I could just get some attack damage. I don't have any of those yet. Anyway, might as well get the Dust of Appearance. Don't really care about the Warp... Actually, Warp Stone could have been useful. Uh... We could go to Halaran. I don't care that much. We could go, like, over here. Uh, let's just go to this one. Yeah, is they're distinctive enough? As long as they're distinctive enough, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just me being, um... It's just me being... Particular. You know, I, I tend to get picky. You know, if it's the same enemy... Looking... Like, same looking enemies over and over and over again, it is gonna get... A little bit boring, but I think that's mostly just because. I should probably take out that uh, that goblin-y thing. Oh. Yeah. That range is... I'd say a bit of a problem, but it really isn't. There we go. Okay, so we get another blacksmith. Let's go this direction. I want to... Hey, treasure defense. Though, these actually don't get you a whole lot of cash. Okay. I liked it better when they were all stacked up. Okay. Okay. Looks like these are the last of the portals. Nope. Not at all. Luckily, I've got a stun. Perfect defense. Beautiful. Okay. So what do we got? Mini boss, hazard, and then we'll head for the blacksmith. Looks like the shadows are not moving as fast. Tumbling rocks, eh? I'm glad that it shows you uh, what you need to be aware of. 
and I'm glad I've got several abilities that make it really easy for me to avoid uh, to avoid the attacks. Really, it's just one. I wonder if he takes damage from them. I hope so. Oh yeah, he takes damage from them. So as long as I don't get hit by that, we're in a good spot. Alright, his HP is going down. I have yet to get hit by falling rocks. Uh, that was very close. Okay. Unfortunately, getting hit by falling rocks does about the same amount of damage as uh, getting hit by his attacks, which sucks a bit, but doesn't surprise me that much. Oh, I love teleporting in and just dropping some bombs on his face. Whoops, we didn't actually finish the teleport there. Still got him with the bombs, though. Feels good. All right, uh, we've got God of Speed, Sepicles. Okay. I don't know what's up with this dwarf, but I hate his guts. Oh yeah, he does, like, laser Z business. Yep. Let's just hammer these goblins as much as I can, because they... They're locking me down, and I don't like that. But yeah, if I can get, uh... If I can get the blessing of the god of speed, that'd be really good. Oops, don't shoot it too much. Come on, get away from the temple. There we go. Got him. Alright, might be might prove to be a useful subject. Alright, boosts you and your followers' movement speed, attack speed, and cooldown reduction. Hell yeah! So attack speed, 20%. Cooldown reduction, 10%. Movement speed, 10. Presumably. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so now we need to hurry this up. Let's use a warp stone. Uh, I can do that one. I'd like to get in the next shop, but... Looks like we got tumbling rocks again, which actually works better against the little guys because this more or less means we can just wreck them uh, and the rocks will just only facilitate that look at that just hit them all and I can stun them in the path as long as I myself am not there nothing to worry about yeah flawless times two and we get a warp stone good I've been running uh, ruining those okay let's hit the blacks blacksmith so what do we got Frostwalker's helmet tempting Grandmaster's Helmet, that's what we probably want, and Echo Spark. How much money do I have? I have enough for two. So, we have we can do Grandmaster. Actually, we have everything except for Echo Spark, I think. So, we'll get the Frostwalker and the Grandmasters. Because that gives me two set things, yes? Yes! Okay, so we need Grandmaster's Ring, Frostwalker's Amulet. And... Probably Desolators at some point, because Desolators would be really good. Okay, uh, God of Proctus. God of Protection. How much is Sepulchres? Okay, we are... We are desecrating this one today. So I guess if we're desecrating this, we gotta be here just wailing on it. Because if I can get the, uh, upper tier of... Uh, if I can get the upper tier of Sepulchres, that's perfect. Because I don't, I don't need Proctus today. We need speed. That's this character's biggest weakness. And if I can use and abuse that, I'm okay with that. Alright. Thank you for lining up for me. Oh, I love it when they do that. Yeah, I do wish that there were more things that adjusted my, um, my skills. Okay, so attack speed 40. Nice. And I believe that's percent, not just... Yeah, that is percent. Cool. Um, cooldown reduction, movement speed, and current favor. Beautiful. Okay. So we gotta start escaping. Treasure defense. Unfortunately, we have to move horizontally here. I might actually use the warps, warp stone. That said, I am not regretting my decisions here. I really do feel like I'm shooting that much faster, too. Which is really appreciated. Okay. Okay, that's really appreciated. Come on, go down. Got him. Perfect defense. Cash. Okay, yeah, I'll probably have to use a warp stone here. But yeah, I move I move quick. My skills recover faster. Damage is 
great as a result. Ow. Oh, I got squished. I think that's the first time I've gotten hit by falling rocks. Well, that's fair. This is such a good feeling game. It's It's got the fun factor. It looks great. The sound design is a little bit boring, but I mean, whatever. Yeah, if you get some lifesteal, you'll be immortal. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's just use the warp stone head for the boss. We're not... Uh, it's a waste of time otherwise. Boss battle against the Phoenix! Ooh! New boss type! This guy's actually kind of hard looking. Luckily, I've got a whole lot of... I got a whole lot of tricks up my sleeve that I can use. Mainly getting close to him and just... Whopping him with stuff. I must have hit my... Must have hit my bombs early there. Well, that's okay. We're barely injured, which is amazing. Okay. Yeah, because I can just drop the bombs next to him. Oh, looks like he's got a new attack. I like the fact that the that enemies... Uh, bosses specifically get new attacks along the way. That feels really good. That's really well designed. Ow. That fire hurts a lot. How much HP do I have? Oh, wait, no. I can tell directly above me. Damn it. Wait, they're still gonna... Nope, they almost got to him. I gotta wait for my my uh, strike through ability to get behind him. Otherwise, it's meaningless. We end up taking a fair amount of damage from it. Then I drop the... Uh, then I drop the... Stun Ow. Probably gonna want to heal after this. There we go. This is a this is a hard boss. Ow. This is like actually a worthwhile boss. You know, I was talking about enemies, uh, most bosses and enemies. Oh fuck, don't run through the fire. Might be better to just get hit than that. Okay, Phoenix is almost down, just don't get hit any Oh, that's how you tell the meteors are coming in. Oh, 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 I am very fucking trapped. Okay. Ah, oh, alright. Well, that was the extent of it. Holy crap. That was fucking awesome. I was so close. If I had used the healing potion before going into that, I probably would have been okay, but I was trying to be stingy because money. That was... This is awesome. Oh, hard mode. Unlocks with Godslayer. Kill Sepicles, Fuhrer, Hellerin, Necros, and Proctus. Or custom mode. Unlocks at spirit level 5. Oh! Whoa! There's even, like, randomly generated, um... Dudes. So this time I can be a human with a crossbow, an elf with a spear, or a minotaur again. Wow! Shit, this game is good!